What's good, backyard barbecues and barbecuettes? Today, we're doing a family reunion. Uh, it's early in the morning, uh, as you could probably tell. Uh, but we're about to get busy. So, long story short, we're going to roll into uh, some footage. I got to uh, pack up the truck and then we're heading out. Uh, this is the Saturday before the 4th of July. Got two cooks this uh, holidays. Today, family reunion for about 120 people. And uh, there might be a special guest. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be able to get on camera. Hopefully, I can can get him on there. Uh, Martin Mayhew, Mayhew. Uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, NFL player. Uh, he played with Deion Sanders at Florida State. If you're a Florida State fan, uh, but he played with Deion Sanders, so I he get a pass. Played for the Redskins. They won a Super Bowl. He was the uh, starting cornerback cornerback with uh, uh, Daryl Green, if you know him, from the Redskins. I think Mark Ripken was the quarterback back then uh, when they won the Super Bowl. But anyway, uh, he's supposed to be there. This is part of his uh, family reunion. Uh, he's flying out from uh, California. He's actually an NFL scout, too, for my team, the 49ers now. So he, he does NFL scouting for the, uh, I think, the, uh, the professional players as well as the uh, people coming out of college. So be on the lookout for the 49ers. Might be doing something this year, y'all. Uh, just never know. Hopefully we can get them on camera, but if not, still doing the family reunion. So that's what it's all about, y'all. Barbecuing. So stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna roll into some footage. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. B. We out here getting it in. Got the, got the smoker coming up the temp. Uh, let's see if we can get close up of that. See that coming up the temp. For those that happen to care about uh, Shirley Fab and how well they're doing, you see the temp. Same temp difference. Got my boy over here. That's me to do it again, man. How y'all yes, doing? Yes, sir. We got it going on. Got the truck loaded down. Look at that great, that green uh, thing of season. Show you all these different seasons we just got in here. Just a small something we grabbed and threw in here. Yep. Get it in early in the morning. See, we got some wood down here. We got cold today. Let me show you this real quick. We got charcoal getting this thing up the temp today. Just doing doing something different. Instead of going with the oak first, we got charcoal right here for the Weber. We got burgers going on. We got sausage. We got uh man. We got ribs. We got everything. So stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back. What's up, y'all? See, we got these sausages going. Just trying to get the burn marks on them. Uh, and then we're gonna throw them on the uh, smoker, man. Put them in the warmer box. Make them real, what they call real smoked sausage. Like I said, all we trying to do is get the burn mark on there. You know, the uh, the little grill mark. And then uh, we're gonna put them in the smoker and let them sit for a while. And then uh, people gonna be asking you what you did. So there go my secret right there. Get the grill mark on there first and then put them in your smoker. And tell them I told you. That's why I get my prop. <laughs> but nah, uh, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what it's about. Just sharing these secrets, y'all. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit, and I'm going to show you how it looks uh, once they're coming out the smoker, man. All right? See my, oh, oh, I go. See that piece of wood? Just sitting there for smoke. Normally, I have wood chunks, but I ain't have none. I was in a rush trying to get out here. Doing a big cook today. I'm going to show you, uh, hey, what's that, half light? Yeah, yeah. transition this to the real smoker. Show them the smoke over there. We're gonna transition this over here to Big Bertha. And then, then we're gonna sit out in them chairs right there. You see them fold up chairs. We're gonna go for what we know. So we're gonna transition from this grill. We got some burgers too they are uh, bringing later on that we're gonna cook. Oh, I should've asked him about that. Yeah. And then uh, the rest is history, y'all. We just sitting here monitoring. Take it off, cut the ribs up. Chicken, self-explanatory, you know, just Flipping it maybe one time if you got a decent smoker and then going from there. So we'll be back in a little bit. We're gonna show y'all uh give y'all view when we open it up and let y'all see the chicken and the ribs and what we got set up in Big Bertha today, y'all. We'll be back. What's up y'all? My fellow backyard barbecues and barbecue 
give you a close up on this, what's going on right now. See, we got eight slabs of rims going on, two on the top and three on uh, each of the second row, second and third row. Got two different types of chicken. We got, uh, tell me what kind of chicken we got up top. Hey, we got Montreal. We got like a Montreal up top. Then on the bottom, we added, we, we had a little heavy with Montreal, and we did like nice paprika, so we, you know, you see that nice color at the end. Yeah. Well, let's take it to the warmer real quick. Show them that. Uh, yeah. See what's going on over here. In the warmer box, we just got some chicken. Uh, we got chicken on the bottom. That's some, uh, what was it, marinated, uh, and some non salt marinade. You know, we got some people out here for this. We do cooking for a family reunion. And you got a couple of people that got uh, high blood pressure, I guess. Uh, and they don't want salt on their meat. So I don't really like the, the color of the chicken. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, you got to take care of your health. So, you know, you want to be around as long as you can to continue to eat this yard bird, or what we call the, uh, the barnyard pimp. If you ever heard of that before, this chicken is the barnyard pimp, y'all. So uh, we're going to let it keep on cooking because we got uh, to gotta have it done in about four or five hours, so go ahead and close it up. Uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit, man. We busy out here getting it, y'all. Having fun. Backyard barbecue. All right, y'all, we back. Like I said, we was about to do some corn on the cob. Uh, we doing a traditional style today. We'll show you what we doing. You know, if you've never seen corn on the cob, obviously when you shell this and you pull it back, pull the husk back off of these, you will see uh, silk. And it's like silk is like stringy, the stringy material kind of like the little strings right here, that's all in the corn that you gotta clean out. But we're doing it the traditional way today. Um, we're gonna stick them in this water. You see I got a uh, thing right here. Actually, I can go ahead and stick them in there. This is basically what we're doing. We're gonna soak them in water uh, for about 20 to 30 minutes. Normally I do this overnight, but it's a last minute thing. They just showed up and uh, asked if we cook some corn. So I never say no to nothing. We stay prepared, as you can see. We keep everything on the fly and then uh we're gonna go from here so we're gonna let this sit for actually i'm gonna let it sit for a while because the corn is going on my little weber today and it only takes about uh 20 minutes you know to do so uh and that's for as many as you can get on there so we're gonna go ahead and knock them out and then put them in my warmer box and then uh they'll be good to go you don't have to worry about the outside the outside gonna turn brown look like it's burnt but you'll see as we go through the video and stuff like that so just bear with us and we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. Check it out. Woo, it's squirting at me. I mean. <laughs> hey, y'all heard that, <laughs> Y'all got it, man. Old Speedy over here. <laughs> squirting at me. Wait a minute, girl. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at the inside, man. Look at all that. Y'all here. Y'all here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's do it. Yeah. Are you finna cut four of them up, four slabs up? You wanna just put them back on the grill? And then, uh, there you go, that's three slabs. Then we're gonna take four out and then put a uh, uh, sauce on them, put them back in there for a little bit, about 15 minutes. And then uh, we'll cut them up. Okay. Yeah, easy day. Hey, say what's up, T. What's up? Tell them the family reunion going on family over here. Reunion. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. There's like four slabs we about to cut up and then put back on there. Hey, what's up, y'all? We back. It's about four-ish, right about now. Oh, it's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. Um, didn't realize it was that hectic cooking for a bunch of people. Um, never did that many, but uh, that's crazy. A lot of work, man. You definitely need a teammate or, or, or a partner to help you out in the cook like that. But anyway, it was fun, man. It was fun getting to uh, see the people enjoy the family reunion without having to worry about cooking. And things of that nature. That's what we come to play, you know, catering and stuff like that, man. I had a blast, man. Shout out to my boy Terry and his family over there for, uh, you know, inviting us to do the uh, the cook for him. I had a blast doing it. Ran it to my boy, uh, my boy, Marty Marr. Like I said, uh, Mr. Mayhew. Mayhew. Uh, long story short, his history is he played with Deion Sanders back in Florida State. And, uh... Yeah, he played with Primetime back then. So he was the starting cornerback with Primetime, and then he got injured. And then Primetime did what he did, right? The rest is history. And then the next year, you know, he did his thing, and then he went pro. Got drafted by, I think, the Buffalo Bills or something. But anyway, got traded to the Redskins, and they won a Super Bowl. What's crazy, he was the starting cornerback with Dow Green when they won a Super Bowl. 
I knew all about Daryl Green, but had never really heard of him. That's crazy, man. And, you know, I'm looking at him, and I'm talking to him, and I'm like, he's my size. And I'm sitting there like, I think I'm better than you, man. I think I'm better than you. He probably would dust me if I ran him, you know, raced him into 40. But anyway, I uh, had a blast doing it. And uh, wasn't able to get him on video because things were moving too fast. But I did get a get a picture of him. I think it's uh, if you look at the the screen capture, you know, the uh, to the video, we actually got a photo with him. Uh, I did think about that during that process, so uh, I appreciate it. And the rest is history, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for, for uh, further more. I think we have 979 subscribers. Uh, we're doing a giveaway at a thousand, y'all. You'll be surprised what I'm giving away this time. But anyway, this is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. I'll let your boy.